Hey guys, this is Steven's channel, and today I'm going to do a review on my new Rise of the Beast Bumblebee Studio Series 100, and also called B127. He's from the new movie Rise of the Beast, which I went to watch on the day it released. Well, official day. As you can see, it has 23 steps to transform, and I'm pretty sure this one comes with the gun. I don't know if it comes with the blade, but I think it does. It's very nice looking. And I think there's two versions of this, and I have the more updated version. Yeah, so this one is more updated than the other one. Because I'm pretty sure it has a different face, or... Yep, I might be wrong. I'm not sure, because I don't know what the other one looks like. So, this is a very new transformer and i'm about to open it i'm going to size compare it to my other bumblebees and it has 23 traps it turns into an off-road camaro and it also has a cool background so now it has tape at the back so you just put a knife in and then or a scissors and just slice it and then yeah it just peels back and then you pull out it and it has a few things to open so i'll leave the box at the side and this is the bumblebee it comes with a knife so yeah i was right it comes with a small gun it's actually quite small but it's not well you can't really expect bumblebee to do, be that big but he's actually a good size to go with my other transformers okay just put a knife the knife and then cut from the behind probably yes yeah, not the front i didn't see the, i didn't know the back would have all this stuff or you could just untie it but i don't I'm gonna i'm probably gonna just try and cut it off Okay, that is quite a strong so so to untie it you just it's quite simple you just peel spin around a couple times that ah uh, this so it actually has a quite strong string so i'm just spinning it back a bit so you really don't need a scissor then to or anything if you for the on on only really for the top because this just spins around about well i guess that makes sense because it just spins i think my last studio series i unboxed i didn't do it on youtube i think you actually had to cut it my um optimus prime i'm not too sure but i'm pretty sure that's how it was so it has a, actually a kind of strong string but once you get a hang of it it's easy to pull off but there is a couple to do, so I'm just doing that. This might be a bit of a long video, but I will have to explain all the stuff about this Bumblebee. And I'm pretty sure the instructions are in the box. Oh, I'm kind of getting used to untying this, so this will be not too long now. It's not too bad. It's a real, I really like this. I think this is going to be better than my past rivers. I'm going to show uh, the other Transformers toys that are Bumblebee I have. And size compared to some other ones I have too. Like uh, leader class, old ones. But this is a different type of scale. It's a Studio Series scale. It won't go bad. It's not a, a off scale with some Transformers. But for larger Transformers, this wouldn't be the best scale. Because I'm pretty sure this is just... I'm not sure. Is it deluxe or normal? So plastic. Wow, oh, this is a nice bumblebee. I really, really like it. Okay, so, I really like Bumblebee in the new movie because how his design is really cool. He's really epic looking. So, this is the knee joints. Good knee joints. Not the greatest, but really good. You can do some good poses on display. The wings move. Here also moves a bit, but I don't think you would really care for that move. This moves really good. It could hold these stuff. I'm gonna just um attach check the packaging and see how to attach these on. Oh, also for the background you have a nice stand. Also here is the packaging, the the box. Well, before I do anything, let me leave it on a cool display. It's very epic. Here it is, Studio Series 100. Normally, these things are quite huge. Yep, as I said. I mean, it doesn't look like the most complicated Studio Series transformation. But it does have a few steps. Well, I would say a good amount. It, yeah, it doesn't seem too hard. Okay. 
it does does it say how to okay so the knife this goes right at the side oh that's so epic too bad it's not in color though i don't know why they painted the gun but didn't paint the um the actual knife because the knife is metal okay the knife the gun i'm also just trying to figure this out i'm reading the instructions if i'm doing this wrong oh okay so it goes on like this oh this is so cool i really like this bumblebee so i have him with all his weapons so he has a sword and his epic gun now i'm going to show you my older bumblebee but not the oldest one i have this right here did he does not stand up good he is larger he is missing a piece at the back but nothing at the front um basically and this is weaponized mode so he does not have the actual bumblebee face also it does not move the best because the these older 2009 ones so the 2009 ones are technically older than me because my i was born in 2010 but so these ones are more newer um this is the studio series optimus prime um from 2007 well not really just the year yeah, he is slightly bigger. I will eventually get the Optimus Prime, but I prefer getting a Bumblebee for now. I really, really like him. Now, I'm going to compare one of the first Transformers, like when I was first knew about Transformers. So this is like about nine years ago. Yeah, nine years ago. I got this for Christmas. I got a couple of them. I did get some more newer models, like not this one, but I have a different version. I got this one only a few years back, but yeah, the difference. I know this one is missing the arm, but this one is not that like in bad condition. But like, if you compare, I think they still sell this one too. But if you compare these two, this one's no head movement, but this is more of a kid's toy, this one. This one, a little less, but still. But this one, oh, I really like it. it. I just, it would be really cool if they got, like, two hand cannons, but I can't really complain. Or, I don't know if there is another faceplate, but I don't think there is. I'm pretty sure not. But it, I really like it. He is one of the most epic bumblebees I have. Actually, the best one. There is one more thing I have to compare it with. The one more thing, there is one thing I have to compare it with, though. Uh, my video just froze for a second, so let me just show you what I mean. This car. Um, this is just the car. So, the bottom has nothing. If if it sounds a bit mixed up, my video just froze for a second, but I'm continuing filming. Oh, see, just opens the door. You can't really compare it because it doesn't transform. This is actually my brother's one. I do have mine, but I do not know where it is right now. But this is one of the most epic Transformers. I think if I'm going to try and transform it, but the video might be a bit long. But I'm going to try it anyways. I already have them out the box. See, the instructions with these bumblebees like this are a bit confusing. Like, I mean, not just bumblebees. I mean, like the studio series. These are confusing. Normally, I can figure these out myself with the older ones. But I guess because they make these look much better. So this, I don't want to ruin my bumblebee. Okay, I think this just snaps back. This. Okay. I don't think I'm going to transform it actually for this video because I do not want to damage anything. This is a very new one. And I'm not too sure. The, it, I just have to say, if you buy this, the, okay, maybe just for me, but the instructions are in black and white and just highlighted red. So they're not the best instructions ever. I will. I'm going to try just a bit. Okay, so it. Okay, um, if I could transform this, I could show you how it looks as the Camaro. Okay, so I'm guessing this flips right back. Probably. I don't want to break this. Like, this is kind of confusing. Um, This goes... Okay, does it just go sideways? Shoot, I'm not too good with these, these instructions. Yeah. It's like this. Shoot. Okay, okay, I figured it out. So there is a lot of stuff. See? Oh, yes, I forgot to take off the gun. Those, I'll take them off when I'm done. Just gonna just try and click this in. Oh, these aren't too bad. I can never figure out how this one transforms. But, like, I think they gave it more, like, not the most complicated design ever. Which, I really love that part. Okay.
Okay, Cheetor. Not Cheetor. Uh, I gotta compare this to a Cheetor if I get him. I don't really... I never really like Beast Wars, but... I really like how they look in the movie. They're very cool looking, but this was a good movie. Maybe one of my favorites. I actually prefer these. Like, the newer ones are much better than, like, Michael Bay's. Uh, like, Bumblebee, Rise of the Beast. Those two were very good. A lot of stuff to snap in. Okay. Oh, shoot. This is going to be a long, long video. This might be the longest I ever made, but not a stop motion. Shoot. Okay, I got it. Okay. So these just click together like so, I'm pretty sure. Okay, it just says click them together now. It's very com complicated. Not the most complicated, I have to say, but it is quite hard. But I, re I don't mind it being a bit tricky to transform because, like, the design itself is amazing. So I don't really mind it. It's just sometimes I have trouble with these. If I can't figure it out, I might do a second or a part two. And just, I'll just transform it before the video even starts. Okay, I'm going to just keep the video. And I'm just going to finish off and do a, a, a review on his whole body now. So, um, what I, I pull this out. And, yeah, so this is complicated a little for me. I'm not the best with these things. I know I just did the beginning and I couldn't figure it out. So this might take me some time to make the part two. But for now, I'll show you all the epic stuff about this bumblebee. Okay, back wings, epic. Not a big back piece, very light, not too heavy. This would open for transformation. The door is probably closed. Well, I mean, that makes sense. The wings too, I guess you can move these wheels. The head sculpt is beautiful. Up and down, side, side. Uh, goes, I think, I don't know, yeah, I can't go fully backwards, so it's not 360. So, these, I'm pretty sure in the movie were more up, these light pieces, yeah. Can you point it more up? I don't know. No, I think that's it. Yeah, I think it goes like that. Really epic. So, now I'm going to do the weapons before I move on to anything. So, yeah, oh, shoot. I think these wheels, are they supposed to be forward? Yeah, they are. <laughs> Mixed up. So the knife is not silver. Not silver, just yellow. Just plain, flat yellow. Not even a black or anything. It's just yellow. Nothing to be like, nothing to be like amazed of. Same with this. It's, it's not yellow because I actually like, it's really good that it's not yellow. But has a bit of yellow and... Not the best color screen, but the figure itself, I think I'm giving this toy a 10 out of 10. I know I always give my toys this, but I really, really like this Bumblebee. Um, yeah. So I think that's almost all, uh, pretty much all I have to say. I will set it up on display before I end the video off. Let's move the legs a bit. Oh yeah, it's supposed to be like this. Let's do some action pose now. Let's see, arm forward. And then add the knife. So to click these on, there's a little point here. And then the one right here, I didn't show how to do that. Just click on right there. Shoot, this Optimus Prime. I'm going to move them out of the way. So this, this one, you just, there's a piece. Just click it in. It's really, uh, it's not the hard. I think the transformation is the only thing I'm trouble with. So now let me show you the background. <laughs> It's just the lava, and I'm pretty sure this is, like, when he came back in the movie. That's what they did, not, like, anywhere else. Because we're in the movie, a little bit of spoilers, he was not there in the whole movie. Like, he came in later, but he was there at the beginning. I really like him, so that's it. The end of the video. This is a quite long video, and let me just leave him here there and end off the video. Okay, goodbye.